Hello and welcome to Super Tech. Today we are going to learn about Arduino. You may have heard about this term while doing something in electronics. By the end of the video, you will know what is an Arduino, what are microcontrollers, and how to use an Arduino to blink an LED bulb. So without any further ado, let's get started. Arduino is basically a development board which has a microcontroller on it. A microcontroller is an IC which has a processor, memory, RAM, oscillator, and analog to digital converter built in. In short, it is a mini computer. Microcontrollers power most of the devices we have at home and around us, such as a microwave, fridge, air conditioner, and even cars. These devices do not require very high computational powers like in computers. But the problem is, microcontrollers are available only as bare ICs, are sold in bulk quantities to manufacturers, and are not easily accessible to hobbyists like you and me. Until Arduino happened in 2005, when three students in Italy decided to make a device which was simple, easy to integrate to other devices such as motors, relays, sensors, etc., easy to program, and also inexpensive. Thus, they came up with the idea of Arduino. Arduino was designed to make microcontrollers accessible to hobbyists like you and me. It is cheap, can be used without the need of having customized circuit boards, does not require soldering, and has a variable range of power input from 3 to 20 volts, so that you don't fry it up. An Arduino is basically a circuit board which has a microcontroller IC as a heart, and some supporting hardware to make it easy to use. There are various Arduino boards available, but the one which is most widely used is the Arduino Uno. It looks something like this. The one which I am using here is an Uno with micro USB. You can get one for yourself from the links in the description below. It costs less than 3 US dollars. Now let's quickly have a deeper look on the board. The major components of Arduino Uno board are as follows. The microcontroller, input and output pins, USB interface, power barrel jack, reset switch, crystal oscillator, indicator LEDs. The microcontroller is the brain of the Arduino. It stores the code you upload and executes it. The pins on the Arduino are places where you connect wires to construct a circuit. They usually have black plastic headers that allow you to plug a wire into the board directly. The Arduino has several kinds of pins. First are the power pins. There is a 5V and 3.3V power output pin through which you can power other devices on the circuit. G and D stands for ground pins. There are 6 analog pins on the Arduino. These pins can read signals from analog devices such as a temperature sensor and convert it into digital values so that the system understands. There are 14 digital pins on the Arduino. These can be either input or output pins. For example, to read signals or to control devices as a switch. You may have noticed the tied next to some of the digital pins. These pins can be used as normal pins but can be used for something called pulse width modulation which we will discuss in a later tutorial. The USB ports helps to program the board and also to power it. The Arduino also has a power port in case if you want to power it through a battery or AC-DC adapter. The Arduino board operates at 5 volts but can withstand maximum voltage of 20 volts as it has a built-in voltage regulator. Reset switch sends a pulse to reset pin of the microcontroller and the program restarts. This can be useful if your code doesn't repeat but you want to test it many times. The crystal oscillator acts as a clock for the Arduino. It ticks 16 million times per second. On each tick, the microcontroller performs one operation. LEDs these are indicator LEDs which blink whenever the UNO board is transmitting or receiving data. Enough talking about the board, now let's get some hands on. To write and upload code to the Arduino, you will need a piece of software. The Arduino has its own open source software called the IDE. The IDE makes it easy to write and upload code to the board. It also has built in libraries which makes things even simpler. To download the Arduino IDE, go to arduino.cc. Once installed, run the program. Programs written in Arduino are called sketches. There are two functions present in every code which are the setup function and the loop function. 
code in the setup function runs only once, whereas code in the loop function runs infinitely. Once a code is written, there is a verify button to test the code and upload button next to it to upload the code. Now let's write the code to make our LED blink. First we need to define the LED pin. We do it by writing int LED pin is equal to 13. Next we create a variable for delay. Int LED delay is equal to 500. In the setup function, we define the LED pin as output pin. In the loop function, we write how many times we want the button to be on or off and add a delay in between, like this. Make sure you put a semicolon next to every line of code. The upper and lower cases are correct. Once the code is complete, click the verify button and a message should appear at the bottom saying done compiling. Now it's time to upload our code to the Arduino. Connect a 5V LED bulb to pin 13 and ground on the Arduino. Use a USB cable to connect the Arduino to your PC. Select the board type and the COM port and click upload. A message should appear at the bottom saying done uploading. If any error appears, make sure you have followed all previous steps correctly. I have also left a link for the code in the description. You can see the LED blinking at an interval of half a second. Let's change the interval, make it 100. Now the LED turns on and off 10 times every second. Let's make it even less, change the delay to 50. Now you can see the LED is flashing very fast. This was a very basic example of using the Arduino. The possibilities of Arduino are limitless. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you liked the tutorial. Do let me know in the comments below what do you want me to make next.